This is all we got. This isn't a lot to go on. I know, okay? We're lucky we even got this footage. For what? some reason, all the security cameras were fried. My security hey guys, cameras fried. I was just at the hospital going over the medical records of everyone who was at the bank. I know why they passed out. Why did they pass out? Well, they all suffered from fatigue, vomiting, abdominal pain, skin rashes. So everyone ate a bad burrito? No. Radiation poisoning. That's why the security cameras are fried. Mm -hmm. We gotta find this guy before he poisons the whole city. Yeah, or worse. Mm -hmm. Guys, if this meta can cause these levels of radiation in these patients, it means this meta has a similar makeup to a nuclear bomb. So, like, enough to blow us all up? What are we talking here? The fallout from a nuclear explosion could be catastrophic. Exactly. Fallout. Great name. Terrible power. Okay, I'll see if the satellite can track his radiation signature. Mrs. DeVoe, when did you first meet Mr. Allen? Um... Mr. Allen showed up at my house almost two months ago, claiming to be investigating one of Clifford's former colleagues. We reassured him that we didn't have information to help him. But Mr. Allen persisted and continued to arrest my husband. And what prompted the restraining order? My husband has had advancing ALS. I was alone with Clifford most of the time. But something about Mr. Allen's aggressive manner just made me feel unsafe, so we went to the authorities. And we thought the complaint would dissuade Mr. Allen. But it didn't. Could you please describe for the court the last time that you saw your husband? It was Christmas. And Clifford wanted to confront Mr. Allen. He had hoped that in the holiday spirit, he could convince him to let us be. And I, I begged Clifford not to go. But even with his disability, Clifford insisted that it was his job as my husband to protect us, to protect me. He didn't want to live in fear, so. He, he, he left. And I wish, I wish I could have stopped him and stepped in and told him not to do this. But I let him go. No further questions, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would like to enter Exhibit F. Into evidence. Objection, Your Honor. Why wasn't this entered into discovery? Oh, I've only recently received this new evidence. May we approach? Your Honor, there are protocols that need to be observed. This is my courtroom, Mr. Slater. I'll run it any way I see fit. I'll allow it. These photographs were taken earlier today. Mrs. DeVoe. Could you tell me, please, who's the man that you're kissing in that photograph? It is most certainly not your husband, correct? His name is Dominic Lance. And how long have you known Mr. Lance? A few months. So it appears to me that perhaps your marriage was not quite as perfect as you've portrayed. Maybe you were ready for a life without your husband. So you ran into the arms of another man. Another man you convinced to kill your husband. Clifford and I met Dominic Lance at an ALS charity gala months ago. He was there to honor his father who had recently passed away with the disease. Clifford noticed the bond that Dominic and I shared long before I did. My husband was happy that I found someone to talk to and he urged me to turn to Dominic for the needs and comforts he could no longer fulfill. <laughs> My husband wanted me to be happy. <laughs> Clifford didn't see my relationship with Dominic as a tool to pull us apart, but to bring us together. 